Hi hey guys and welcome to another video with Model Tanks with Spartan 086 I know that it's a mouthful to say So today I'm going to do a wee special I have shown this tank before But this tank I customised obviously as you see from my forces of a King Tiger 132 scale I redid this and based it on the legendary Kurt Neisbo He is the tank ace of tank aces within the German army he had 168 kills that were confirmed and obviously a substantial more unconfirmed the real number that everybody puts nice bow at roughly is about 195 kills so we'll get into it a wee bit of history to nice bow he was uh very successful in his field and he worked pretty much every tank he could. He was a loader, gunner, driver, and then eventually a commander. He was from, if you want to call it the Sedatenland, which would be classed as possibly uh, within the Czech Republic today, at the time it was Czechoslovakia. And he was obviously ethnically German, but living in that land within Europe there was obviously these boundaries where ethnicities could fall over borders and sometimes you would have ethnicities from across the border being more substantial in your land than your own. Um, the wee bit of history to Nisbo, he was not a dedicated Nazi which is brilliant because I would hate to think that people would see me as some kind of Nazi worshipper after what my family had to go through during the war. Uh, I see this more and more now we in obviously tank groups that I'm part of is that if anybody brings up anything to do with certain type of tank aces they're classed as some kind of Nazi worshippers. I would like the person to come and say that to my face. I will teach you a lesson. I am not a Nazi worshipper, but I give Jews where they are. Nisbo is one of them. He fought pretty much almost in every area that the Wehrmacht asked him to. That included Normandy, when he was with uh, the Heavy Panzer Battalion. I think it was 505. Uh, was it 506? Sorry, I think it was 505. Apologies about that. I'll need to, I'm sure it was 505, and then they get redeployed east. In his time, he was known pretty much as a bit of an out there kind of guy. He didn't adhere to the very strict guidelines that were set down by the Wehrmacht, he did not like the ideology that was set down as well by the the party and at one point he accosted a member of an Einstein grouping uh, who was uh, abusing Russian POWs and this pretty much set uh, a black mark against Kurt's name. He never really got above the rank of staff sergeant and if you look at certain other Tank cases such as Vipman or Carius or Shota, they uh, had a lot of, they got a lot of medals, etc., to them. The highest award that was awarded to Nisbo was the German Cross Gold, basically, as a version of like the Iron Cross, and he was kind of like that. Kurt met his end uh, a few days before the end of the war and what is now what is today obviously the Czech Republic and at the time was Czechoslovakia. He uh, was from what we were what information I could find, he and his Panzer Battalion were sent against a far superior numbered Russians, but Nisbo being Nisbo, he took them on. And took them on in strength and uh, took a large amount of kills with him before he was taken down. He was mortally wounded and was evacuated to a field hospital where uh, sadly he succumbed to his wounds. He was buried along with 15 other German soldiers uh, 
and in 2013, Czech authorities uh, recovered those bodies and were able to identify Nisbo as one of them through his tags. German military gave him a, a funeral, uh, reburied him and gave him a military funeral and he's now buried next to his comrades. And I think that's pretty much as much information as everybody wants to hear about Nisbo. So on to the tank. So obviously it's a King Tiger and, and as you see here, I've done it in a type of ambush camo. I've tried to weather it as best I can and give some kind of rustic effect to obviously the tracks. I've tried to be, I've tried to make them more ru rustic looking. I've tried to areas where you would predominantly see type of um, scraping away or rust appearing as time goes on. You would see that there. I've tried to do as best I can. I removed the front mud guards and this. Uh, the side skirts as well that run along here, as well as the rear mud guards. I've then added some fuel containers and some, it's supposed to look like tarp. I've tried my best to get it to look like tarp, a bit of roll that the crew could be using for something if it's for the barrel, excuse me, or maybe for them. I've also added a wee bit more here, fabric that they can use for camouflaging the vehicle as well as some um, uh, barbed wire roll. I added on a Yag Panther uh, tow cable, which I thought would have gone pretty well with it, especially since the length of the, the vehicle and the length of the tow cable can I go together. Coming round, obviously it's just the same kind of effect that I've done all over and kind of just decided that this will be nice ball. Commander sitting at the top, sadly missing his long hair and goatee beard to look a bit like Oddball from Kelly's Heroes. Overall, I, I tried to get the tank to look as best I can towards what I felt and I have read that Niceball's vehicle looked like at the end. I think it's a, a good dedication to a man who fought for his country and not for ideology and believed in doing the right thing. And to him, I dedicate it. So everybody, I hope you're all well and taking care. And hopefully I should get the new video from Forces of Valor up soon on the early production Tiger 1. And and try to get more videos up, obviously, of stuff that is arriving. I'm hopefully going to have an upcoming video of another Challenger 2 from Forces of Valor. Uh, this one again is another another customization but i'm trying to get this one into berlin camo and it's going to have a street fighter upgrade if you're unsure of that i suggest giggle on that and have a wee look uh it is a wee bit of a bother now the paint scheme for berlin camo is a nightmare but i'm hopefully going to have this up maybe next month so until then guys take care and again like and subscribe and share it out, get it out there. So, till then, have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.